What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back, everyone, to the Hunt Events 2024 in Roblox. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the super rare limited UGC item known as Axe of Destiny. It's a super cool item with only 10,000 in stock. And as time of recording, only 1,000 of them have been redeemed. So that means you guys have a chance. So be sure to join RB Battles with me and watch until the end of the video so you guys can get this this super rare limited UGC. First thing you need to do is make sure you click that AFK button because you won't be spawned into any mini games because what we need to do is in the lobby first, go to the hunt character right here. He's a researcher. You got to talk to him and he's going to yap for 17 centuries about some lore. If you want to listen to it, go ahead, but we're going to skip ahead. <laughs> Once you do the little dialogue sequence, you get your mission. Win one round or play three consecutive rounds and I'll give you the shard. Play three games or just win one. Make sure to choose kind of one of the games that you want, that you're comfortable with winning maybe so that you can finish this even quicker. I'm gonna go Cannon Cove. Now for this step, I also recommend joining a small server so that maybe there's like two, three people you have to fight and you can win really easily instead of playing three games. What we're gonna do for Cannon Cove is beat the other people up right now. Come back here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Got him into a corner. Got him into a corner. Oh, no. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, my goodness. I'm beating him up. I don't even know if he knows how to use it. Oh, oh it was only one of them. Let's go. It was just a 1v1. Well, now that that's done, let's go ahead and AFK again. <laughs> let's go back. The researcher who's too scared to do his own mission. Talk to him and he'll give you the shard. Then you're going to want to equip it. Press on it so it drops down and a cutscene begins. Oh, we're going through space and time. Whoa. The hunt begins. What the heck? No. No. I'm a test subject. Let me out of here, man. Please. Let me out. No, I don't want to be experimented on. Not me. I don't even know what this man's saying. What, what, what's blood yapping about over there? I don't know. Hello. What is he saying? Whoa, I'm going through space and time again, but differently this time. Holy cow. Nightmare fuel alert. Jeez, sorry guys. I should have given you a warning here. Honestly, all jokes aside, the cutscenes are really, really well done. Uh-oh, oh, the time gosh. travel police is here. What should we do? Looks like we're having a rap battle. I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea what he actually said. What you're supposed to click is rat battle. Do not click the rap with a P. Click the rat with a T and you will be spawned into the sewers. As soon as you drop down here, ignore everything he says. Ignore everything about the rat battle. What you're supposed to do is look for a tunnel that has a black pipe. One of the four tunnels has a black pipe way down there. You see that? Yeah, that's the one you have to go to. So walk down that tunnel. Go to the pipe. Walk all the way there. And on the right, there is some graffiti that you have to clean. Now, there might be some rats stuck there, so just kill them, get them out of the way. To clean the graffiti, you have to jump in the sewer water, then smack the graffiti with the axe that you're given, and rinse and repeat. So we're gonna go in the water, and clean. We're gonna go in the water, then clean. And then we're gonna go in the water, and then clean. Or maybe we don't even need to go in the water again and again. I could just go in the water one time, and clean it completely. There we go. You'll know you do it right because at the bottom right, you get what's this award. Now, once you're back in the hub, wait around for the treasure hunt mini game. What I recommend is server hopping until you find one or just stay in one long enough and eventually it will pop up. All right, after server hopping a couple times, I actually found the treasure hunt mini game. What you're gonna wanna do is ignore everything they say about getting the balloons and chests. You don't have to do that right now. We have to go to the very middle of the map and dig all the way down. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Just dig all the way down. All the way, all the way. Let's go, let's go. Just hopefully I don't blow up because that would be the worst thing. Digging all the way down, there should be a cave and that should, oh, there it is. Boom, a cave and inside the cave, there is this thing. Walk up to the shiny object and step over it. As soon as you do, you'll know you've done this step properly because at the bottom right, you get the what's that award. Now go back to the lobby, go into your backpack and equip the shard. It should be an event items at the bottom. Here it is, I equipped it. Then go ahead and click on it just like you did earlier and we'll be taken back to the same exact cutscene where you spawn in a test tube at the laboratory but this time we do it differently because at the bottom of the treasure hunt simulator where you got the module you're actually gonna place that right behind you there you go and now you have to put these wires in a very specific order and you have to do it fast because you have a limited amount of time so grab them from the bottom and we have to do it in this order green red on the second one orange on the third one pink on the fourth one yellow on the fifth 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you do it wrong, you can just grab it out. Yellow on the fifth one and blue on the last one. That's the way it looks. Green, red, orange, pink, yellow, blue. Do it before this part right here and you'll know you do it correctly because the cutscene is different. Look at the tube. It's a different color. It's red and weird and that's how you know you've done it right. Looks like we're having a rap battle. You know you do it right because unfortunately you don't get a choice anymore. You have to do both the rap battle and the rap battle. It is pretty tough, especially in the last final wave. You only have three lives, so use them wisely. The bottom is your health bar. Uh, another unfortunate piece of news is that they get stuck or they tend to get stuck in certain areas. Let me kill this guy right here. I, no way he hit me. Like, that's not even a possible. So, anyways, there are two types of rats. There are ones that launch grenades everywhere, and there are ones that ram into you. This guy's the one that launched grenades, so all you gotta do to defeat him is go really close. Because the grenades get launched farther from them, they won't hit you as long as you get to them. But the unfortunate part is the other guy, the one you saw earlier, these ones without a green thing on the top, are melee guys. And you get close, they ram into you. They're tough to defeat. Sometimes they get you, sometimes they don't. Oh, didn't even look. Oh, no, that he turned around and got me. He literally fooled me. Okay, I'm gonna watch out. Oh, he went the wrong way. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Okay, ram into them and done. So, yeah, those guys are honestly really hard to dodge, especially when they get bunched up. At time of recording, the rat tracking is a little buggy and they tend to get stuck on specific areas. I'm gonna show you guys those areas they get stuck on, starting with the area that you remember from when we did the graffiti. Yeah, some of those rats love to get stuck on this black pipe down the tunnel here. Look at that. Why are they there? I don't really know. This rat's coming to me. I'm just gonna dodge him. I'm gonna strafe him. Look at that. Easy. Okay, now we can go up to him and beat him up. He's got a cool down. Oh, whoa, what the... What the heck was that? Why did I get launched this way? Oh my goodness, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know what? I made it, I made it, I survived, and I only lost a little bit of my health. That's good. But yes, that's one place to get stuck. Now, another place is across this tunnel. On the opposite side in this tunnel, they tend to get stuck right here on this pipe. Just a gray one, a normal one. They love getting stuck there. Sometimes they jump over it, sometimes they go around. You see, they jumped over right there. Jumped over right there. I'm gonna just dodge him. No way you hit me. He did not hit me. I don't think he hit me. That's like a lie. That's a complete, utter lie. Okay, there we go. And we're getting flung around. That was fun. Not really. I gotta watch out for this guy that rams. I gotta watch out for the- Ah, gosh dang it, you stinking guy. Get out of here. Oh, by the way, sometimes they also drop pizza. Now, I don't really know how. I think it has something to do with your yellow bar that you get after killing a bunch of people. You get like a supercharged move and sometimes you get a pizza. Or it could just be random. But getting a pizza gives you a little bit of health. So anytime you're missing health and you see a pizza, grab it immediately because these guys shred like crazy. Now, there is a third place they tend to get stuck, and that is in this tunnel. Perpendicular to the two tunnels we just went to, there is this tunnel. I don't know why. They love getting stuck on that lever right over there, but what's funny is they don't get stuck on this one. On this opposite side, no rats ever get stuck down here. So what the problem ends up happening is the rats that come here go all the way down into this section here with this lever, and now you have two tunnels worth of rats stuck there going back and forth, and if you get close, they launch all their 50 million grenades, and then the melee guys come up to you and try to ram into you so you can lose a life really quickly here you just gotta like watch out oh my goodness i'm gonna go up to i'm just gonna walk up to them oh my goodness as you guys see i'm getting rammed like crazy what how are they doing so much damage to me oh and i got no pizza for that what the heck hopefully by the time you guys do this the rat tracking is a lot better because honestly it needs to get fixed so that they don't bunch up and absolutely decimate you when there's a million of these guys bunching up like little zerglings so what i highly recommend guys in the farther wave so i'm on wave three beginning right now is going to the place where they get stuck on the levers and going to one of the sides and just beating them up as soon as possible. Good luck to you guys. I believe in you. It's gonna take some time and a couple tries probably, but let's do this together and speed it up.
And there we have it, guys. Once you beat all five waves successfully, at least with one life remaining, you're done the rat battle, and you're moving on to the rap battle, which is basically like a Row Beats rhythm game. So let's go. Let's get the show on the road. I am not ready. I haven't played Row Beats in forever. So guys, if I butcher this, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go try hard. Oh, and you're only supposed to go during the pink track. The green track is for Mr. Boringsworth. He's just blabbing on. Just press the WASD keys whenever the pink track is active. Now, for copyright reasons, I can't really show most of this, so let's just fast forward. I'm not even paying attention to the rat battle because this is a lot harder than the rat's battle. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. When does this end? Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. What the? Five Nights at Freddy's? What the heck? Oh, what? No. <laughs> no more rap battle, I guess. Bye. All you got to do, guys, is do what I do. Don't die before the end. You have three hearts, and they kind of go down depending on how much you miss and how much you mess up. I messed up a lot. You guys saw there. With that, ladies and gentlemen, as long as it doesn't say try again, at the bottom right, you get the team question mark, question mark, question mark, path award, and you have the chance to buy the Axe of Destiny. Go click that for zero Robux. Your purchase is succeeded. And ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. Hopefully, it wasn't too hard for you guys, and I'll catch Catch you later for some more limited UGC items. This is Twisted Bandora signing off. And as always, stay snazzy.